So as is tradition, we end with an idea, a speaker, the ones we're actually here to see. But before we get to our final speaker of the day, I have a special guest who's going to introduce that person. She's a two-time Olympian, an Olympic bronze medalist. She's played in five World Cups. She's the longest-serving soccer player in our country's history. Freshly retired and a UNICEF ambassador, I'd like you all to welcome Karina LeBlanc to the stage. Hi guys, so I was asked to come up here and introduce John Herdman, my coach, and I thought, sweet, I can really embarrass him in front of everybody, which I will. But I wanted to tell you about John Herdman, who is far more than just a coach. He came to our team in 2011. We'd come dead last at the World Cup. Dead last. We were broken, we were lost, and he asked us one of the most important questions ever. He asked us, what is your why? Why do you do this? And we went from dead last at a World Cup to nine months later, standing on a podium, seeing our flag rise and living out our dreams. Thank you. But the incredible thing about John Herdman is he is far greater than a coach. He's a man that will ignite that power from within you. He did that for me. Three years ago, we had a conversation. He said, if by the end of this, you think your greater purpose on this earth is to kick a soccer ball for this country, then I have failed you. I went out trying to figure out greater purpose. Wow, this is pretty incredible. And within months, I became a UNICEF ambassador, and I found myself in Honduras, in the middle of nowhere, doing four days of giving back to the kids. And I got on this field, this dirt gravel road where you and I would be like, ugh. Oh. Stepped out and there were 200 young girls I was throwing a camp for. And they came sprinting across. And I was like, wow, this is pretty special. Because you could see in their eyes this moment meant something. And it wasn't that they'd seen me play in a World Cup or an Olympic Games. It was the fact that I showed up. And that day changed my life. Because five of those girls were wearing a gray jersey. I'm from Maple Ridge, British Columbia. And five of the, woo! And five of those girls were wearing the first ever jersey I'd ever worn. This is what John Herdman does. He ignites that power and that fire within. He did it for our team. He'll do it for you here today. And as, before I want to introduce him, I have to do justice, because I, I have to stay authentically me. I have to embarrass him. So he thinks I'm just here to say you're a great coach. But I'm going to get him to dance on stage. Yeah, who thinks I should do that? OK. <laughs> yes. So let me introduce to you my coach, my mentor, my hero, John Herdman. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you're killing this, man. Hey? Nah. What we're doing? Oh, man. This is the only move I've got. Like, it was like this. There you go. John Herdman, everybody. It's not that bad. <laughs> 